April 3rd, 76. My dear Howells, It is a splendid notice and will embolden weak-kneed journalistic admirers to speak out and will modify or shut up the unfriendly. To fear God and dread the Sunday school exactly described that old feeling which I used to have, but I couldn't have formulated it. I want to enclose one of the illustrations in this letter, if I do not forget it. Of course, the book is to be elaborately illustrated, and I think that many of the pictures are considerably above the American average, in conception, if not in execution. I do not re-enclose your review to you, for you have evidently read and corrected it, and so I judge you do not need it. About two days after the Atlantic issues, I mean to begin to send books to principal journals and magazines. I read the Carnival of Crime Proof in New York when worn and witless, and so left some things unamended which I might possibly have altered had I been at home. For instance, I shall always address you in your own sniveling drawl, baby. I saw that you objected to something there, but I did not understand what. Was it that it was too personal? Should the language be altered or the hyphens taken out? Won't you please fix it the way it ought to be, altering the language as you choose, only making it bitter and contemptuous? Deuced was not strong enough, so I met you halfway with devilish. Mrs. Clemens has returned from New York with dreadful, sore throat, and bones racked with rheumatism. She keeps her bed. Aloha nui, as the Kanakas say. Mark.